program, zero two four six eight. Edit main program. It'll be empty. So sorry, I'll try to get the phone out of your face. Four nine T one M six T or it's G one hundred. And I'm just gonna do a, a small number C two. G4, X2, 2 second dwell, T2, M6, G100, C2, whoa. C2 says you can use this tool a maximum of twice. Uh -huh. And then it alarms out. And I did something kind of neat too. I think it's neat. And I'll explain that after we run. So one, one, two, Life expired, remove and replace. <laughs> and so. Okay, so every time you pull that tool out, you have to have a G100 C limit. Uh huh. And so this is this is what I like. It kind of jacks me up. I, I enjoy writing macros, so I have offsets. Offset macro. So we'll go 601. Number six. So that. So it says this tool was called three times. This tool was called twice. And this is the main counting function. Then we go 650. And it says, hey, this was called twice. This is called twice. Right? And then we'll go down to 701. And it says, and you see T3 because we went. It says zero, one here and one here. That's what we call uh, those tools in those locations. I have it set with the, the tool change program. When you change, when it goes here, it counts how many times that tool's been changed. Just because the, the last customer that I wrote it for, they wanted to know. Oh. And so, in conjunction with Reset, G110, G1, because now that tool's expired and I want to change it. So it calls it up to that location. Go back to the macro. So now this is one, I changed it one time. I go to 650, it doesn't erase there. That tool is still used two times. But if I go to 601, which is the counting function, it clears that out and it resets your count. <laughs> so if you use these two macros together, the one clears the count for the other. Uh -huh. Oh, that's smart, dude. Uh, they've been giving me a lot of shit because I've been writing macros for like a week. <laughs> that's really cool. Okay, this is not that complex. Okay, so 601 and the 600 series this is tool one, tool two, tool three, tool four, right? Uh -huh. These are the counts of tool changes you have on those tools. Yeah. 650 shows us how many times it's been. This is, this will, that'll never reset unless you manually reset it. And that's just, and that's just how many times the tool's been ran overall. Period, in that Period. pocket you've ran it the, yeah. X amount of times. Forever, yeah. Okay. 
then 700 shows you how many times it's been exchanged. Uh -huh. So we've done, uh, this is number one, so that's the first time we've popped it out. But we also did number five yeah. and number three So you can earlier. get, you can realistically get like an average tool life based on 650, the 650 series and the 700 series. Huh. That's cool. That's really cool. Okay. Yeah, you gotta pat this guy in the back, dude. <laughs> I'm a hater. <laughs> okay. So let's quickly go over how you implement that in your program one more time. All right. So can we go back to that program that you wrote? So just essentially all you do is add G100 and the max amount of tools you want that tool to run right below the tool change. Okay. That is that. And then what, whatever tool it has when it runs this is whatever 600 and yeah, one, so, two, five, seven. So I'll show you. It, it, put, yeah, it I'll, puts in that memory slot. I'll show you this. Yeah, I think you might like this. So macro tool life, tool 15. So this 4120 is, is the tool number. So that's why you put it below oh, okay. the tool. So it, it goes the macro, that's 600 plus whatever tool is in the spindle. So macro 601 equals 601 plus one. And that's counting. Ah, okay. And so like you can't, as long as it's below the tool change, you cannot mess it up. It will always count for this tool because it can't count for anything else. When did you write this? Like just last week or something? When did you see it? Yeah. Yeah, this is perfect. This is this is just what we needed. I wonder where everyone is. All right. Let's pause.